Well, tonight, federal funds from the CARES Act designed to help people unemployed during the pandemic have expired, and no deal on benefits has been made on Capitol Hill, leaving millions of people in the lurch. No deal between Republicans and Democrats on more jobless benefits. And the last of the federal pandemic unemployment assistance checks have been mailed. 30 million Americans and many Mississippians losing a lifeline that helps families pay for food, housing, and other necessities. Daryl Smith says he thinks the people who are making decisions on aid have focused too much on business recovery and not on people recovery. I understand that, but some businesses are getting out scot-free, making plenty of money and going out and buying extra luxury items. But the ones who do need it are the ones who are suffering. The expanded benefits help people who would normally not qualify for unemployment, including freelance workers and those who are self-employed. People need that money. They don't have a job. And they got a lot of expenses that need to be taken care of. And not extending their... Uh, Unemployment going to hurt a lot of people. Governor Tate Reeves foreshadowed the benefit expiration. We have been um, warning our fellow Mississippians for a long time that if you have the opportunity to get your job back, uh, we strongly suggest that you do so because that extra $600 of pandemic unemployment assistance was going to run out. And I believe that we are certainly at the point at the end of that rainbow. But Ned King says beyond the money, there's another problem. The CARES Act moratorium on evictions has also expired. German statistics company Statista projects that more than 40 percent of American renters are now at risk for eviction. In Mississippi, the number is even higher, 55 percent of the state's rental households. They're not going to have sympathy for you not paying your rent because you're not getting unemployment. You're going to be out on the street. Now back in Washington, the Senate has adjourned for the weekend. The House is canceling its August recess until a deal can be reached.